Math Match is a game I use in my play-based kindergarten program for students to flow in and out of. It's a game resembling memory, where students flip over two cards to see if they get a match. However, students are not looking for matching images. They are matching quantities and numerals. The game begins with all of the cards black side up. Students choose two equal cards and flip them over. Cards are color coordinated on the underside, showing matching colors when the correct match has been selected. Flipped cards still reveal their quantities so they can continue to be examined during the game. Math match is self-correcting, not requiring an educator to facilitate. Students can recognize when a correct match has been made themselves. Not having to correct in the game makes math match a great opportunity for anecdotal observations on student strategies and understanding around counting. To keep the game interesting, it's important to scale the game's difficulty so that students remain challenged and interested by being exposed to different methods of showing quantity. The progression I use is 10 frames, dots, hands, tallies, growing number lines, number lines, length, capacity, and weight. Text varies group by group, depending on where they are in language. Math Match is a game I introduce as soon as we begin to cover counting, quantities, and numbers in early years. It's very effective for teaching and strengthening the principles of counting, including one-to-one -one correspondence, understanding that each object is assigned one number and counted only once. Cardinality, understanding that the last number used to count a group of objects represents how many there are in the group. Hierarchical inclusion, understanding that all numbers preceding a number are included in the value of that number. Movement is magnitude, understanding that as you move up the counting sequence, the quantity increases. Abstraction, an understanding that we can count any collection of objects. Subitizing, the ability to tell the number of objects in a set quickly without counting. Subitizing develops math fluency, when students recognize sets without having to count each object, it helps develop number sense and the ability to perform mental math. To add further difficulty, different sets can be used together like 10 frames and tallies. This also helps make connections by seeing the same quantities represented different ways. Three or more sets can be used as well, where students have to match one from each set correctly. Once the students have progressed through all of the sets of cards, I change the game to what I call Around the World, where I place all of the cards on the table and students work cooperatively or competitively to find matches throughout all of the sets. Math Match is accessible for students at various stages of understanding and encourages a great deal of counting. Not only are students counting for their own matches, but the competitive and cooperative opportunities in the game make students interested and invested when their peers are counting. The fact that all possible answers are revealed the entire game makes students compare what they see, often counting several different cards to find the amount they are looking for. Counting on, a precursor to addition, appears in competitive settings where students want to see how many dots they have in total. Number sense comes into play with competitive students who try to go for the largest numbers first and work their way down. Or, if you ask students to order their cards from least to greatest, or from greatest to least. These cards can also be used for Go Fish, War, Crazy Eights, and other card games to sneak in some more recognition, number sense, and subitizing practice. Each set would function as its own suit. For example, the Three of Tallies, the Four of Ten Frames, the Five of Hands. Math Match. Educators, find a link to my TPT page in the description below and please post the games and activities you're doing so we can continue to learn from each other.